welcome back to another video so today I wanted to show you guys something that I got for my birthday that the kids and uh, Sergio ended up getting for me and it was on deal it was like 50% off I ended up getting it early so this is KitchenAid uh, stand mixer so so I'm going to unbox it and use it I ended up making salmon today so I am going to make a quick recipe, um, some sweet rolls. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I make that with the mixer. So I had been wanting one for a long time. I like uh, making a lot of uh, pastries and like breads. So this will come in handy. Hey guys. Okay, so I pretty much got everything out. So you got the spiral one, the flat beater, and then the wire whisk. And then, um, so I'm going to wash the bowl so that I can start doing the recipe. So this one here is to lower the bowl. And then you just get the attachment off. You hold it and lift it. I'm going to put this over here. And I'll mix my stuff over here because I don't have a connection over here. I'm going to cut this. to let them dry and then now I'm going to get all the ingredients and I'll be back and show you what you're gonna need I have the ingredients here you're going to need 1 4th cup of sugar 6 cups of flour 2 large eggs 2 cups of warm milk 2 tablespoons of salt a packet of dry yeast and 6 tablespoons of melted butter so you'll put everything in your bowl and then you'll mix it all together so you'll put the flour at the end. So I'll show you how I do that. So I have my bowl here. I'm just going to dry it. So I'm going to go ahead and mix everything in. I'm going to start with the milk and then the yeast. to add the sugar and the salt then the two eggs and the butter So now we're going to add the flour and we'll add it little by little and we'll start mixing it. So now I'm going to put the bowl up and start mixing it. I put in um, pretty much all of it. I left a little bit just to be sure. I'm going to put the bowl up.
being in the bowl, I took it out and then I sprayed the bowl down. I sprayed the bowl down with this spray right here. So now we're going to let it rise for about an hour to 90 minutes, depending on where you live. Uh, for me that I live in Alaska, it might take up to 90 minutes uh, to rise because it is colder in here in the house. Um, but I did preheat the oven to 375, um, so hopefully that helped with the house being a little bit more warm um, and hopefully it rises a lot faster. So we'll set that aside and then I'll come back and I'll show you um, how to make the rolls. So I went to go change, I went to go work out, but the bread is already ready. And it has doubled in size. So I will show you how I make the rolls. Before we take it out, I'm going to grease this pan. So I'm going to tie my hair just to make sure no hairs go in the bread. Now that it's raised, this is what it looks like. I'm going to weigh the dough and then I'm going to divide it by 24. So it's 1,297 grams. Divide it by 24. Yeah. Not good with math, so I have to use my calculator. It's going to be around 54 grams for each one. So I'm going to spill it out. Put my tray here. Uh, ball the dough, you just cup your hand and then just start. So we're going to cover them and then let them rise again for another hour. They have now um, doubled in size and um, this is what they look like. Now I'm going to pop them in the oven and I'm going to let them bake for 12 to 14 minutes and then I will show you how they end up. And then at the end, um, once they come out, you can put or spread them with um, butter. So this is what they look like. We end up putting a bowl on the bottom rack, on the very, very bottom. I put a bowl or a pan with water just to help the bread rise a little bit more and so it doesn't end up drying. I'm going to fill this up with water and I'm going to put it in the bottom. So 
So while that's going, I'm going to melt this. I'll come back and show you once they're done. Um, I have melted a little bit of butter and then I'll be back to show you once they're done. I'm going to take it out of the oven and see if they are ready. By the looks of it, they are ready. Now I'm going to spread the butter on it. I don't have um, a cooking brush where you can actually like spread the butter, so I'm going to use my fingers. I actually ended up ordering from Shin a couple of baking stuff. So once those get here, I'll show you what I ordered. But I ended up ordering a new um, oven mitt and a few other baking um, supplies. I needed a new baking mitt because this one's this one I've had for like three years already and I ended up getting the, um, this one back home at the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I've had it for about three years. Uh, so it was time for me to get a new one. Just trying my best. And then in that order I ended up um, ordering one of those uh, oil brushes or barbecue brushes through sauce or some bakers use it to spread the butter. So now that those are done, I'll butter those later. But um, this is what it looks like on the bottom. And while they cool down a bit so I can show you the inside, I'll um, prepare our plates. So these are our plates. And then I'm going to put a little bit of lemon. And then on ours, I'm going to put crushed peppers. And then now we are going to open one of the breads so you guys can see how nice and fluffy the bread is. So these are the rolls and they're pretty fluffy. And it has that like Mm, in Spanish they call it migajón. I'm not sure what um, you would call it in English, but it's very soft and spongy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Come try it. And then this is the food. So I was going to make um, uh, the salmon recipe and I didn't have bread to put with it. So I decided to make the rolls. So that is what we're going to have for dinner. So that was it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.